Okay, I'm going to do a real simple edge cleanup on some uh, single color art today. Um, yeah, this is something that a screen printer is going to come across like a billion times a year. So, uh, yeah, might as well learn how to do it. So, as we can see, as we zoom in, somebody tried to clean this up, but it's looking pretty lumpy to me. Um, yeah, depending on how you resolve your screens, you know, it might not come out that obvious, but... Um, it's really easy to fix, so we might as well go about doing that. Um, first thing I want to address is um, I'm going to use a, a blur technique, and I've got a problem here where it looks like somebody accidentally cropped this off a little too much, so we might as well just fix the canvas size first. Um, Alright, so I'm anchoring the canvas to the left, extend it out with white. Uh, the width is 14 something right now. Let's just make this like, I don't know, 15 and a quarter. Boom. There we go. Got a little extra space there. <clears throat> so I might as well, I mean, there's no way to just magically bring that back. So uh, I'm just going to get out my brush tool and just kind of paint one in. Let's make sure we're 100% hard. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. Um, yeah, we're just going to kind of just estimate this to be something like that. Um, might as well follow it up with an eraser, also very hard, so that we can nip off these little shark fins that we've got here. Alright, cool. I mean, we could go around like this <clears throat> and really clean it up, uh, but that would take um, forever. So, uh, we've got what we need. Let's just full zoom out. Okay, everything's within the... You know, I, I, I am going to do a canvas size again. I'm going to go relative and just say 0.25 all the way around. Just going to push a quarter of an inch every direction there. Um, just gives me some space for um, what I'm going to do next. So, uh, yeah, my main cleanup uh, for a single color, solid color art like this, my main cleanup tools are Gaussian Blur and then curves. So um, yeah, it seems counterintuitive to blur first, but by when you're trying to sharpen something, but um, in effect the blur is just going to soften this edge and let me kind of bring it back. So um, yeah, let's try it real quick. So filter, down to blur, Gaussian blur. Um, we can see at two pixels it's getting it a little bit. Um, we've already, let's just double check, yeah we're already in good size, good resolution, so <clears throat> we definitely want to be in that. We don't want to be doing this kind of operation in 72 DPI, so get it to the size and resolution you want, and then go ahead and we're going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, obviously that's not doing too much at two pixels, so let's just kind of bump it out. All I want is to just almost have a way to kind of average this edge. You're just going to have to use your judgment. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. We're not going to have like a vector looking edge unless we do a live trace afterwards. But uh, I think that this might be a decent average. So we kind of want to be able to come out, squint a little bit, and see smoother edges um, when you squint. So um, obviously, we got a little kind of stair step pattern there happening. It's kind of nasty, but yeah. Let's hit it with our curves and see what we can do. So in curves, all we're intending to do is push our white point towards our black point um, until they're just about meeting. So, um, and I'll generally be kind of in the 50% area like that and like that. Now if we zoom in, we can still see that there is a bit of a wave. It was probably worst in that area. Um, but it has minimized it. Yeah, there's still a bit of a wave there, but it has minimized it. Um, if we go ahead and bring up our history, rewind to when we first opened it, to where we are now. It's slight, but the thing is, we can do it again. Let's try it one more time. Blur, Gaussian blur. Let's try it even harder this time. OK, 
Okay, back to our curves once again. We're gonna have them meet halfway. Look at that. All right. Most of the lumpiness is gone. I mean, there's still a couple lumps, but um, the integrity of the design is still pretty much there as far as I can tell. Um, who knows? We can try it one more time just to try to get rid of that chunk, that chunk. I've got some lumps down here. I mean, obviously the client shouldn't have the expectation of exactly perfect art when they um, submitted something as lumpy as they did. So. Um, but yeah, we can just show that one more pass might even do it some one more bit of good. Uh, obviously, we're taking a lot of liberties with client-supplied art, but it's ultimately in their best interest. All right. So that looks like pretty damn smooth text to me. Um, I'm just going to take a look at it. All right, why don't we um, A-B it with our original. That's pretty grimy by comparison to where we are now. All right, I'd say that's a pretty clean cleanup. Um, and if I want to crop it down to exact dimensions, all I can go, do is just go over to my uh, channels palette, command click on that. I've now selected all the white space, so let's do a select inverse image crop. Boom. We've got perfect dimension, uh, crop to exactly to the artwork. I believe this was probably in the 15 inch range. Boom. And we'll just save it. 